All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Merced Bechtel. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, Assassin. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my good kick landed by this gentleman. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Already closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Very tricky when he throws that body. Bechtick gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. And there comes the separation now. Oh! Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. 
Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Two minutes remain in the round. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Whoa! What a Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Beckton. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Close guard. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Final seconds. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fight. Won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, second round underway. Beckett gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt fast. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! Oh, he's hurt fast. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out of A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press that up. one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got an opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. So he's landed some good. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right,